now back to our special tribute to John Pierce on 873 2GB. John Pierce was a giant of Australian radio. Of that there is no debate. His sudden death has had a profound effect not only on his family and friends but also on his legions of loyal listeners. He was a very clever, a very good man. Uh, and I learned a lot too by listening to him, but it's going to be a lonely weekend, really, Saturday night and, and Sunday. I often wish that, you know, John was on all Sunday night. Uh, feelings towards the loss of Mr Pearce. I first listened to Mr Pearce when I was four years old, and my mother turned him off because she said he was very rude. But you had to listen to Mr Pearce for a little while to realise that it was all tongue-in-cheek. I talked to him many times. He was a cranky, cantankerous old cow. And he was right more than he was wrong, and he entertained me all my life. I'm, I'm 52 now, and I've, it seems I've listened to him all my life. I just want to say that I am very, very sorry that Mr. Pierce passed away. It was a great shock to me as well. And I feel very, very sad and, and sorry for his wife. We all, the ordinary people like us, learned a lot about aerodromes and flying and car rallies. And... Uh, uh, overall, he had kept his faith. If I ever had a, a bad time in my life and I found myself at home on a Saturday night or something like that, John Pearce was my date for the night. Spend six hours listening to John Pearce or on Sunday night like that and never once did that man bore me. And uh, I'm really going to miss him because I really enjoyed listening to that guy. Another thing about him, he was so mentally alert and with it. He used to refer to TV as the theatre of the mindless. And maybe it's a regret and maybe it isn't. He never got rid of me by saying, you silly old chook. He is a decent man and I think 2GB has lost something. Something that will never, ever be replaced. There was smart Alex on that talk back and he'd let them run along like catching a fish. Bang. And when I heard about John Pierce this morning, I couldn't believe it. I just couldn't believe he died. So, I, I, you know, he was a lovely man and I really enjoyed listening to him. And now I'll just have to try to find somebody else to listen to. Now, about this blighter John Pierce, I've hung up on him. I've yelled at him in the room by myself. He said, said something to somebody and I was, oh, you know, I've yelled at him. I've said, you pig and turn the wireless off. But I've, <laughs> loved him other times. I never missed him and when he was off the air, um, when the football was on, I rang up and said, get the football off and put John back on. He was so entertaining. He was a, a, just a lovely man. I've walked around all day doing my house chores and just thinking of everything he said on Saturday night. You quite listen to the man, TGB Macquarie, pierces on. Australia wide, no longer heard, damn. The original of best talk back, never a song. As always, the last word was his. Hail John Pierce, sadly missed. Other tributes have poured in from colleagues, friends, and the Prime Minister, John Howard. In a way, he was the inaugurator of Talkback Radio, and he therefore um, was a significant figure in uh, contemporary radio, because contemporary radio is very much about Talkback, and it does have an enormous influence on people. I can recall hearing him years ago when I was studying at university but I later on when I went into politics I was interviewed by him from time to time and I was always conscious uh, that in the background uh, of all of the many other people on Talkback Radio who might have had uh, more prominence uh, at different periods of time uh, he was seen as one of the, the veterans and one of the founders and one of the developers of the art. Broadcaster John Laws. I first met John Pierce when John Pierce was working with Andrea at 2GB and they did a morning program together which was sensational. He with his fast mind and his what would have been called today chauvinistic approach to life. They were a wonderful couple and John Pierce went on to do wonderful things in broadcasting. Fine broadcaster and a good friend and on occasions a good ally. He and I did programs together on 2GB over a very long period of time. So John Pierce has been known to me for a long, long time, for many, many years. John Pierce did a lot for radio. He spent many years in it and made a huge contribution. And I and many other Australians will think, when we think of John Pierce, of good things, of good radio, and of a good man. Ted Harris. A fine individual, uh, a very intelligent man, and uh, he'll be a great loss, not only to broadcasting, 
It'd be a, lo- a great loss to the community. Former manager of 2GB, Des Foster. He was an absolutely, uh, totally rounded character. He had a, a rather wicked sense of humour and a sense of mischief. And he was uh, very, very quick-witted and he had a, an inquiring mind. He really covered the whole range of uh, emotions and uh, a, a most interesting and fascinating man. We really are suffering a loss. Gwen Plum. He'd be sadly missed. I think he was... Uh, a personality radio but thank god he went doing what he loved doing uh, which was working in radio was making a commercial up here and thank god he went so quickly because john's personality wouldn't have uh, suffered the indignity of dying slowly and in pain stan zamanik must say that in the uh, in the last few years i've always listened to john on the weekends i know him from a rival station but you know if you want to hear some of the best talent uh, they're obviously spread around different stations and I used to listen to Piercy on a Saturday night as I was going out to one of my cabaret shows, and uh, he was fantastic. He was always on the ball, always uh, had his own opinions. Uh, whether you agree with him or not, it was, uh, it was always riveting radio. Uh, he was the leader in his industry, and it was a tough industry. And uh, to be able to stay around for so long and at the top of the tree in this sort of cutthroat industry uh, just uh, speaks highly of the man and just shows you what a great mark he uh, has left in this uh, talkback and radio industry. We'll certainly miss John uh, Pearce, uh, and uh, I don't think he can ever, ever be replaced. 2GB program manager, Les Thompson. I have some tremendous memories of, uh, of John, uh, especially as a kid in this industry. Uh, one of the first books I picked up was How to Win Friends and Interview People, and that was by John, and it, it just gave me such good clues as to how to go about the what is a craft, and, and that is... Uh, doing a skillful interview and he was just a great broadcaster and he wanted to bring information and entertainment to the the radio audiences and he certainly did that. The other thing is of course a couple of decades after that I came into 2GB as program director and one of the first things John Pierce said to me was look after my radio station because in many ways John Pierce was 2GB and 2GB was John Pierce. Former 2GB manager Perce Campbell. you and I would recognise as a, the finest in the land of his type, and uh, sorrow has come to the radio world as well as a world of our own kind. A man of the people and a man of radio, and all will be saying, farewell, John Pierce, a life of radio broadcasting. So marvellously done. To you is Brian Bury. He worked with the greats, but he was great. He brought out that special thing in lots of people. He made them think, and I think he liked that, didn't he say? He wanted that on his tombstone. At least I made them think. And even though he stirred people, he stirred it in a way that got them thinking and asking questions, and that's what it's all about. John Pierce really was an icon of broadcasting. We'll not see his like again, I don't think because he was special and he was very unique and I, for one, shall miss him. Broadcaster John Harker. John can be rude, in fact he could be downright nasty as we all know, but off the air he didn't have a nasty bone in his body. A lot of people have already spoken about, you know, the loss of a true radio legend, which he was, one of the pioneers of talk, of course, but all of that goes without saying. You can't help thinking that a part of radio history is gone with John, but for me, I'm I'm just going to remember him as a great bloke. A bloke who had the time to give a, you know, a young fellow some advice and encouragement when I started out. And uh, I wouldn't mind betting that he's right up there now debating with all the crowd and probably still getting the last word. 2GB's Brian Wilshire. We're going to miss John Pierce, a man with the right stuff. A man who loved his fellow humans, yet he had a respect for machinery, for cars, for planes, for technology. John was into computers and the World Wide Web long before the rest of us even thought of it. But at the same time, he could be gentle, he could write poetry, and he loved radio like nobody else. He lived life to the full, and in his 71 short years, he probably lived at least 150 of anybody else's years. So long, John. We're going to miss you, mate. Former TGB broadcaster Alan Baskin. He, he was a delightful person. We're really going to miss him. He was one of the, the great practitioners of, uh, of talk radio, not just talk pack radio. You could fill any shift you like on 
any station at any time. And uh, we'll all miss him greatly. Grant Goldman. Probably about 75% of people who've worked in Sydney radio would have crossed paths with John Pearce and would have always been impressed. One thing's for sure, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll definitely miss him. And one of his great lines is, they'll never get the better of me. And you know, they never did. Mike Jeffries. He always struck me as a decent man with a real vitality about him. He had a life spark much bigger than most. Now, I don't know what the next life holds, but for someone who had the ability to surf chaos in this world as well as he did, I think he'll be well able to cope with the next one. The Reverend Gordon Moyes. John Pierce was a personal friend of mine. We spoke together every week, and we shared a number of interests outside of 2GB. When I first became chairman of 2GB, he was anxious to tell me how the place ought to be run and I listened to him carefully because I valued his wisdom. Consequently, we had weekly discussions, and as the years went by, the friendships grew deeper. He was a grand Christian, very active in his local church, where weekly he read the scriptures and was church warden. I value my memories of my friend, John Pierce. Ron Casey. We're all going to miss John Pierce, a great man, a great radio identity, a great performer, and in top, top class as a human being. John's older sister, Dorothy Fisher. I mean, he was very fortunate. He really had a wonderful life. And he's gone without any suffering. I've been trying to count blessings ever since he died. It's a great shock, of course. On Friday, the 30th of August, 1996, a service of remembrance thanking God for the life of John Pierce, OBE, was held at St Stephen's Anglican Church, Willoughby. And at this service we heard these moving words from John Pierce's son, Gary. Dad often boasted that while growing up, he had only two ambitions in life, and that by 18 years old, he'd achieved them both. These were to speak on radio and fly an aircraft. He also said, that less than 5% of the population were lucky enough to work at a job they love, and he regarded himself as privileged to be included in that 5%. It was this that gave him the tremendous energy to pursue further exploits with a true passion. As a husband, father, and grandfather, he was always there for his family. He was terribly proud of our achievements. He'd always hoped to be remembered in the same fond way that we'd remembered his father as a fine old gentleman. He was certainly that, and a friend to us all. Dad took life with both hands. He lived it to the full. Very few of his goals remained unfulfilled. Those of us whose lives were touched by his are indeed fortunate. It has become apparent to us recently that he was aware of his condition for some time, but he chose to entrust his fate to the Lord rather than to the medical profession. Choosing not to share this with anyone else has truly been his way of having the last word. I reckon John Pierce was GB. Great broadcaster. Great bloke. This special tribute was hosted by Bob Rogers, written by Norm Lipson, and produced in the studios of 2GB by Peter Kokura. Special thanks to the fans, friends and family of John Pierce and of course to the great man himself. Good night. I'm John Pierce. And I have had the last word. <laughs> <laughs>